So here's a basic understanding of how to use the script. Uh, once you click on this, it will open up this GitHub page, which has the code. You can now copy this section from here to here. Now, when you go to COVID page, the page should look something like this. Uh, be logged in. It's better to be logged in. You don't need to be logged in because it's an open API. So it works irrespective. But then if you're logged in, as soon as you get an alert, you can immediately book it. Otherwise, you'll have to go through the process of doing the ODP and everything, which will take time and you might lose the slot. So it's better to keep yourself logged in. So what we're going to do next is we'll right click on this page and you'll see there's an inspect uh, menu icon. You can click on this. It'll open up this new window. On the top, you'll see there are a few tabs. You will see there's a console tab here. Click on console. If you're not able to see console, it might be that there is a sub menu which kind of gets hidden. It might be under this, but highly likely you'll find this. Now, what you need to do here is press Ctrl B and paste it. Once this is pasted, before hitting enter or before running the script, what you need to do is basically update the pin codes. Now, as for your location, here it's for Bangalore. And let's just take two pin codes for now, 560017 and 560027. You can add as many as you want. Uh, I would say don't go over 20 because after that the scripts start taking time and you might actually lose out on slots if it goes through the entire cycle of like going through 100 pin codes. So it'll still work though, but then the problem is it will not be practical. Then another important thing to do here is basically change the date. Uh, today is 5th, so let's check for tomorrow and day after. Again, here you can add as many dates as you want but I don't think the slots open up more than seven days at a time. So make sure you're not going above seven days because you start getting a lot of errors otherwise. And also do it for two days at a time because again, after that, the script starts taking a lot of time and you might end up wasting time and going through the entire cycle uh, and losing out on slots. Better is to do it for like a day or a two day at a single time. Now, once this is done, then you can just hit enter. This basically starts the script. Now, immediately after starting, you might see these red lines or these error messages, which says 401 and stuff like that. This is okay. What probably is happening is that because a lot of requests are going from this machine or your machine when you're running on your laptop or desktop, wherever, you would feel that the server might be rate limiting. Now, this is an assumption. This can be wrong. Also, I've noticed that if you give uh, badly formatted dates or badly formatted PIN codes, if it's an invalid PIN code, the server still gives back 401. Uh, it doesn't differentiate between the errors, but then it's running. Now, it will keep on going, check one, check two, check three. This script works endlessly. It will not stop until you actually stop it. Now, how to stop it? You can just refresh, refresh the page and it will actually stop. And then again, if you want to start the script again, do the same process, control V, the entire script here, change your pin codes, probably keep a copy of it somewhere on your notepad or something, and then it should work fine. This runs on any machine, Windows, Mac, Linux, as long as you have a Chrome browser or any Chromium based browser, it should work. Now, apart from this, other thing to note is how will the success message come? So right now, I don't think I'll get any success message. So I'll just tell you how it will work. So what happens is it will actually beep. The system will actually make a sound. If you have an audio out, if you have a speaker or a headphone, you will hear an audio uh, tone and it's pretty loud. So you'll hear it for sure. And uh, it will also print out the pin code uh, after like how you're seeing check seven, check eight and so on and so forth. You will see that it will print out the pin code here, print out the hospital name and also print out how many vacancies are there or how many slots are there. So as soon as you as, as you hear that sound and you see that message, you basically just copy that pin code, click on schedule, click on schedule now, enter the pin code here. Let's say we got it in 76. So search it, that hospital name would show up here, click on it. You would find that the, right now these are all book, book, booked, but you would see that it's not booked for something because the script had uh, identified it. Now there's a chance that it might actually 
not show you uh, anything because maybe only one slot was there and by the time you reached here that slot went away that happens but let's assume that you are fast enough to kind of go through that and if you are missing it the first time second time or third time you'll get it i got it on my first chance i've uh, quite a few friends have gotten it in like second or third chance so just be patient and let the script run uh, other things to note this website actually times out after like 10 minutes or so so if that happens this page will not change you will not be able to realize that it is locked out so once you actually get an alert the api will still work because the api is an open api and doesn't need authentication it will keep on working and the problem is this booking will not actually work again your session would be timed out so what you need to do is like probably in like every 10 minutes or so just reload the page log in again and start this now i know it's a pain to kind of do it but i guess this is somewhat better than searching pin code by pin code or district by district and keeping on refreshing a page so i guess that should be good enough apart from this if you have any questions or any queries uh, post it on twitter you can find i mean you found the script from the handle same handle just reply on that thread i'll try to respond back as soon as possible thank you